In Detective Comics, Spoiler has abandoned Batman's team, and now she's working with Anarchy to expose the rampant corruption in Gotham. We've got writer James Tynan here to tell us more about the disruptive duo in issue 963. Well, this is a story that I've been really excited to tell for a, for a long time. We uh, Last fall, we set a uh, spoiler uh, down a whole new path where she's trying to re-examine how to be a hero in Gotham City, and she hasn't quite figured it out. Uh, she's kind of now uh, struggling with like the inherent hypocrisies of trying to help people uh, in costume, but also she sees that there can be a real cost, that people can get hurt uh, along the way. The thing that I'm most excited about is, is getting to play her off of Anarchy. Uh, Lonnie Mackin, who, who is a character who I have wanted to bring back into Detective Comics since the beginning. Uh, because he was one of my favorite 90s Batman villains because he was doing it for all the right reasons, but he was doing such dangerous things. And getting to play, uh, spoiler, Stephanie Brown off of the original Anarchy, uh, Lonnie, is a lot, a lot of fun uh, because he is going to kind of fill the role of Tim Drake in her life, but he is a kind of twisted version of Tim. We're going to see what he's been up to and that he has basically built a... Uh, a secret utopia under under Gotham City uh, for for the homeless and the people who have been uh, who lo have lost their homes in in the attacks between Batman and his villains. Anarchy was Im impressed with what she is starting to do because she's starting to uh, operate outside uh, the auspices of the Bat family, but she is not uh, like she's she she hasn't quite figured it out. Uh, he he wants to help provide a new way for her to help and a new way to look at crime fighting in Gotham. This this little two-part arc is going to destabilize things massively, leading into uh, a lonely pit place of living, the return of Tim Drake, and then the huge Batman story to come later this year. Batman absolutely wants to bring Spoiler back into the fold. He understands that she's lashing out right now because he lashed out. When he was a teenager, he lashed out tremendously. He ran away from home. He traveled the world for years trying to learn how to fight, how to how to be what he is. So he, he absolutely relates to what she's going through. This upcoming story is very spoiler focused, but it also focuses on Clayface, uh, who is a, a character who I, has just been incredible to work with in the series. But I thought he was going to end up being more the comic relief, but he's ended up becoming the real heart of the book. Since this storyline is kind of the most direct thematic sequel to Victim Syndicate, he's he's struggling with trying to become, uh, trying to get rid of the Clayface identity just to be Basil Carlo again. And he, he, he has this hope deep down that if he can just turn human again, everything he did as Clayface would just be erased. That's what's going on in Detective Comics, and if you're looking for a new series to satisfy your DZ cravings, make sure you pick up Nightwing The New Order number one this week.